Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Contentful Course. I'm Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, you can get a hold of me, Marcelo, at headlesscreator.com right there. There's my email address. Feel free to send me an email whenever you want. I love uh, to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, today, I'm going to uh, talk to you about uh, Contentful Compose uh, and what it is. Um, and I'm going to show you the behind the scenes and how you can extend it and add your own content types. I'm not going to give you a, a big overview of Compose because you can go to Contentful for that. Uh, but basically, we're going to get behind the scenes here. We're looking at the content model that it creates and we're going to look at how can we um, add our current existing content types into Compose and be able to start editing uh, on a page level kind of thing. So, but as always, you know how it works. Before we get uh, before we get started here, I'm going to go ahead and show you, of course, uh, headlesscreator.com, and you will get this uh, on-demand version or the lesson will be available on demand on the um, Focus on Contentful course uh, probably uh, by end of day today, maybe sooner than that. Um, so go ahead and register to, on the site, headlesscreator.com. It's 100% free. You'll have access to Focus on Contentful, but not only that, you also have access to every other course that's available there for free, including my Content Modeling Weekly course. Many of you know I'm a total content modeling geek. I love modeling all sorts of stuff, and that's what I do on the Content Modeling uh, Weekly course. Of course, I do it every week. That's the name of it. So, alrighty, uh, that's it. That is uh, the marketing for uh, Headless Creator. Uh, no more marketing now. So what I'm going to do, as you know, I'm going to restart the intro. Uh, but now it, there will be no marketing about Headless Creator. Just want to say one more time, register there. Uh, but for the lesson, none of that marketing will be there. We'll just restart the intro and uh, we'll jump in and start playing with Compose. So I will see you in uh, 30 seconds. Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Contentful course. I'm Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, get a hold of me, Marcelo, at headlesscreator.com. There's my email address. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Today, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of behind the scenes of uh, Contentful Compose, which is the uh, flat page editor uh, that Contentful released uh, a little while ago. And I'm not going to give you an overview of this because you can go to Contentful to learn all about that. What I'm going to talk about here is what content model does it create? What do you have to be careful about and how do you use your current content types in Compose? Uh, so, so that's that. Let me show my screen here. Here we are. Okay. And let me make, let me rearrange my screen just a little bit so I can have my, I want to make sure I cover everything properly here for all of you. So, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you just the standard way of right, no compose stuff. Um, I'm going to show you, I just created a simple content model. I have three document types, right? Blog post, KB article, on news page. Each of those are content types, right? But those are the main document types. And both of these um, have a reference to the author content type. Just very standard stuff. Uh, it's a, this one has a one-to-many, this one has a one-to-one, -one, and news page doesn't have any. We'll add it later so you can see how that is uh, affected in um, Compose. But what I'm going to do, now that you know this is, let's assume that we've had this uh, content model for, for a year or so, and then of course, uh, Contentful released uh, Compose, and now we, we are saying, well, how do we bring that into Compose? So let's go into Contentful. So here I am in Contentful, and you can see here, here is my, are, are my content types. Uh, I'm going to go to the content so you can see that I've already have some news articles, some KB articles. Of course, if this was a year, we'd probably have hundreds and hundreds of articles, blog posts, so on and so forth. Okay, and here's the author that has some entries. So, of course, as you know, the traditional way without Compose, you would go into a blog post and we can create a new blog post. So, let's just create a new blog post real quick. And you would just get the page here and it would say, uh, here is my new blog post. And here is my new blog post 
content full of information. Perfect. And then under authors, we would uh, pick an existing author, but notice how it does this pop-up thing, right? That's the traditional way. So we'll go ahead and select that. So with Compose, you don't have this. You have like a page layout that includes all your references. You're going to see in just a minute how that works, but it really does simplify the entry. It flattens out this entry. So imagine if you had um, uh, in a uh, um, a reference within a reference, then it would be like three windows deep, right? All righty. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want to keep this blog post, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. All righty. So we're back to here. So I just wanted to show you the, I want to make sure I'm going through my, um, uh, uh, my outline here and cover everything that I want to cover. So I showed you the traditional way, nothing new here. I know you're like, wait a minute, I showed up for this. What is this? No, no, no. Now we're going to get into Compose. So um, again, if you want to learn um, pretty much everything about Compose, you can go to their site, to Contentful site. But we're going to get behind the scenes. But I'm going to guide you real quick on the installation of it. It's really simple. You're going to go to Apps, go to Manage Apps. You're going to install it. Um, I've already installed it, but you're going to install Compose. So let's assume we're going through the installation process and you can look it up on Contentful site. Once you've installed it, then you can just click on Open. Now, what's going to happen, it's just going to open up Compose, but it's going to tell me, hey, welcome to Compose. You're not set up yet. We need to set you up. So let me go back here to Contentful. I'm going to go to the content model. I just want to show you what I've got here. We've got the four content types still. Okay, so now we're going to go through the guided setup, which is really simple. So I'm going to go ahead and click on guided setup. And there's three things that it suggest. well, there's one thing you have to do then the other one i'll show you that you really don't have to do it and then the third one is completely optional which is your preview environment the first thing is you need to install uh two content types that it does and i'm going to show you here in miro it will install two content types that's step one compose says look i need these two content types otherwise i can't work it'll install a, a new content I'm called Compose Page and Compose SEO. Compose Page has a title, a slug, and then a reference to Compose SEO, and then content, which is a reference to your, uh, your page types. And you'll see what that means. But remember, we have our existing doc types. We're gonna end up adding here in content, we're gonna end up adding those existing uh, types. So that way we can um, use them. Okay, and then in SEO, you just have standard SEO stuff. Um, and actually I misspell this, should be name. You have an internal name, SEO title, description, keyword, so on and so forth. So that's what step one is, let's go do that. So we're gonna go back to compose, we'll say install content types. So it's installing the content types and it went too fast. So I'm still gonna take a water here, drink. Okay, so it's done installing it. Let's go back to contentful, the content model. I'm gonna hit refresh. And you're going to see that now we have two content types. So warning number one, put it in big red. I should have something on the screen. Go warning, warning. Once this is created, do not mess with these. Don't delete them. And in fact, they do tell you do not delete because what happens is if you delete these, rename anything in there, um, they will go away. Compose will break. So you've got to be super careful about that. So I would put some content governance around your, um, roles that you create to make sure that certain people can access that. Okay, so step one is done. Step two, it says, okay, look, we need a page type now, right? So now you have Compose, but now we need page types like a landing page. Well, if we go back to my model here, you see we have page types already. It's like, why do I need to create a new page type? Well, page types require a field name, internal name, and really it's not so much about the the the, new, the label, it's more about the field ID, it should be named and it should be an entry title. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a, a page type so you can see um, what happens when we do that. And I'm gonna create it, let's see, what do you say I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a landing page. So let's say we have a new type in, in my old model, we don't have any landing pages. And let's say with Compose, I wanna start managing landing pages. Okay, so I'm gonna create a landing page. I'm gonna click on Create. 
Okay, so now it says create page type. We're done. We've got one. And you can see that it says set up preview environment. We're not going to set up a preview environment, but you can do that. But notice that the get started button, it's ready. We're ready to get started on this. So I'm going to click on get started. And you can see that I have under pages the ability to, to create landing pages. If I go here to page types, you'll see I have landing page. So let's go to the content model. I'm going to hit refresh. And what did it create? Well, it created a landing page content type. That's all it did. So what did it do? Let's click on that. And it created it with one field called internal name. I'm going to click on settings. And notice this. It says name. Really important. What I'm going to do to show you how important it is. I'm going to, yes, I know it warned me. Don't change this. I'm going to call it internal name like that. Click on save. And now I'm going to go back to compose. And of course, it's saying, I'm sorry, you haven't set it up because there are no page types. You need to reinstall everything. And that's where you uh, freak out and go, oh my God, what happened? Don't worry about that. We should be able to, in theory and in practice, go to settings. I'm going to unlock again and make sure that the internal name is name name. I'm going to click on confirm, click on save. And now I'm going to go back to page types or to compose. And it should be, if I'm not mistaken, it should. <laughs> and of course, it didn't come back. But let's let's do this. Let's go back to content model. It should have come back, actually, because <laughs> I tried it before doing this. Let's go back here. Let's make sure that under content validation, we have landing page. And we do have landing page. Click on save. Let's click on. Uh, Compose here. And that's interesting that it didn't do it because uh, during practice, see, it still shows it. It does show it there. So that's really weird that it's not showing me. Oh, and it shows it there. So we're good now. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was a caching issue. Who knows? But it does show it. See, it did come back. Okay. Whoo, that scared me a little bit. All righty. So that's why it's important to be careful things you changed okay so going back to the content model we have the landing page but like i said in the landing page all it has is just an internal name nothing else now it's up to you once you create the page type that's why over here when you go to page types it shows you landing page but it says it's edit because you still have to extend it you still have to go and create your model so for example if we create our landing page, I said we're going to create a landing page and I'm going to create a course page too. They both have uh, internal names. So let's do that. Let's go back to compose. We'll create a page type. This one we're going to call it course page. And now if I go to um, pages here, you should see now course page, landing page. You can create those two types. If I go back to my content model, you'll see course page, okay? Now you have to go into each of these because what happens is if I create a page of type course page, you're gonna see that all I have are page settings and there's nothing under content because nothing has been created. See, it says no fields to edit. 